Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on Litecoin, guys. Right now we're at 126.30. We're up 9.99%. Guys, we got a beautiful bounce. And what happened was, let me zoom in here, because mostly, guys, today we're going to be looking out at the one week, but I want to dig into this real quick with you. So, what you saw, guys, right here, do you see this was broken? This red line I had as resistance right there, guys. So we came up, we pushed through with a wick, we came back down, we tried again. Guys, we were working in this range, fighting back and forth. We came back up a third time, wick through, could not get it. And then finally, guys, we found a bounce off this 20 EMA here on the 12 hour. And now we broke through that. And what I wanted to point out to you guys today, though, on the one week, we're gonna go back to this one week, guys. All right, so with our one week, and this is crucial, okay? Guys, our stochastic RSI is at 197 right now. We are pegged out, and we're at this area right here, guys. So what happened was we had a bearish engulfing candle right here after we tried to push up. So we went from about 120, I'm sorry, about 110 or so, guys, all the way up. We'll go to the real body, about 171. And then we had a bearish engulfing candle here, and we fell underneath, guys, on the one week here. Fell underneath this 20 moving average, or this 20 EMA right there. And what happened was we were trapped underneath that for quite a while, guys, until the supply and demand changed, and now we're up above it. So we're looking at that to hold its support throughout this bull market, and we're in an intermediate-term bullish uptrend. But what you're seeing here is, guys, we had this slight hesitation. This is going to be the next area, so this is going to be at 126.06. If we can close up above that, guys, there's a lot of room then to potentially run up to this 175. But what I wanted to point out to you is it feels like we do need some type of a cool down here so that we can get to that 175. Something I wanted to point out to you, just so you guys are aware here. We're looking like a potential stochastic cross to the downside. On the one week, we're at 197, so we're very overbought in that stack, guys. Pay attention to that. Also, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going on week seven now. So we had six full weeks here with bullish candle closes. And what happened was, guys, after this first four, then we had a doji here, and then we had an even tighter doji right there, which is showing a lot of indecision. What you're seeing today is a further break to the upside there. We're going to challenge, like I said, this 127, 128, right in that range, guys, this little area here. And we're going to see if on the week we close up above that. If we close up above that, then we can continuously run pretty Pretty well but if we close below that guys I, my area that I would look at for very strong support just to give you an idea would be right here if we were to have some type of massive massive sell-off I'd be looking to rebuy around 93 92 and that's gonna be around this hundred day moving average as well as this basically here guys we made this beautiful move up we came back down we broke we want old resistance to become new support so that's the area in terms of the long term if we were to break to the downside here say Bitcoin goes crazy guys and there's a lot of signs on Bitcoin right now looking like we're a little overextended as well and you want to pay attention to that but if Bitcoin is to break hard to the downside, I'm sure it would pull Litecoin down with it most likely, guys. And we'd start looking at those areas. You know, there's 109 if we zoom in like on the one day. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, just main like real strong supports would be around like 109, 100 psychological. And then obviously guys, this area I'd be looking at here. But you know, it's just suspect that we've had such a run here guys without any type of cooling off. You know, if we back tested this and found strong volume off that guys and set that nice higher low so we can make another higher high and come up here and challenge that 170, that sounds a lot better because how are we truly gonna get from around 127 or, or so all the way up to around that one, <clears throat> excuse me, 172. That's going to be one heck of a move there, guys. And because we dropped so far and so fast right here, a lot of times it will get made up on the backside. My assumption is we're just a little bit over bought in this territory here. And, and with this week to come, we may see some downside action here. So I'm still planning for the upside. I'm still in my position right now, guys, being very patient. We're still to the upside, but I want to protect myself in case we start having some type of retracement here, guys, due to two doji candles back to back on the week there, right? in a very overbought stochastic at around 197 right now. And what I want to do on the one week here, I want to go through a few different indicators with you. So right now, stock guys is looking a little more bearish. Let's go to the RSI and see how that's looking. 
And guys, if you like this uh, channel, really been helping it grow, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You guys have been awesome for me. I just, I can't believe it. I'm going to give you the best that I have, guys. I'm still learning, still studying, all that type of stuff. You know, I've done it for a year and a half now, so I'm no professional, and I'm just really trying to work the best that I can. So I appreciate all the, the comments of people saying that I've been improving and getting much better. So thank you guys for that. But what I wanted to show you now on the RSI, guys, on the one week here, we're at seven, almost 75 right now. So we're even overbought on the one week chart. So that's something. Anything over 70, guys, is overbought. Now, we've been up as high in this massive run, guys. We were up. Let me see. We have to even have to pull that down a little bit. So we got as high as 92. So I'm not saying we couldn't continue to move up, guys. I'm just putting these things in my basket saying, okay, the RSI is overbought. The stock's overbought right now. Now let's go to the... MACD and see how that's looking. And this is going to be our MACD and our histogram. Guys, MACD and histogram here, we're still very bullish. We had our cross down there. We're just moving up. Histogram's kind of been a little bit neutral here. You can see how we're gaining strength throughout all this. And now we drop down a little bit during this hesitation, guys. And then we move back up. But the histogram really didn't make a higher high there. So that's something I'm looking at. We're just kind of floating neutral there. So we're going to say MACD is bullish to neutral right in that range, guys, with the histogram. And then let's take it out to the Bollinger Bands. And see if those are showing that we're getting a little overextended here. And these are the indicators that I really like to use, guys, to formulate a plan. You can see we're all the way up at the top of the Bollinger Bands, guys. And what happened last time we got out of them? We pulled back. And a lot of times you, you can even make it back to that middle band, guys. That's an area you can see right here. Once we blast it off, we pulled back onto that middle band, and then we made another move up. But typically, when you get outside of these bands, like we're starting to wick out of right now, you'll start to see profit taking, just like you saw over here. And then, guys, when you get real low down in the bottom of the bands, that's when a lot of people will buy. So, you know, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring this and put it on your radar and just say, guys, you know, Litecoin could continue to move up. We could make another nice move up into the 130s, 135. That's, that's definitely a possibility. But I want you to be aware that on the weekly, that's a big time frame, guys, we are overbought in quite a few different areas. Okay, so now, but what was cool is take a look at this golden cross here, guys. So our 20 EMA there. Crossed over that 50. That was really nice. And then the next one we look for is to see if we get a cross over this 100. And it's pointing up right now. So that's something we're going to have to watch. And that's going to be in the days and weeks to come. So now let's get in real tight, guys. <clears throat> let's get in on the 4-hour. Just to show you what I've been looking at. I like to trade the stochastic, guys, on the 4-hour. As well as looking at the candles here. So let's pull up our stock. Just show you some of the things that I like to do. So guys, the time would have to buy would have been, do you see this stock? Say you're playing this on the four hours though, guys. That's that's the difference. I'm trading Litecoin on the four hours. So when you see a stochastic cross down here like this, and we're also getting good support off this 20 EMA there, that was the time to go long if you already didn't have a position and we got nice volume, a nice volume move to the upside. Now right now we're paying attention to up here. We're starting to have a little bit of hesitation there. You can see this doji, but we, we have not closed yet. My clock down here says 1723, so we'll close at 20 there, guys, is what we're going to be looking at. We're going to see if this candle is continuously moving up. We had some really nice volume here, or if at some point we're going to start pulling back and see if we back test this 11940. Old resistance, we want to become new support, guys. We've been up above our 20, our 50. We're getting a golden cross there of our 100 over that 50, and we also are well up above this 200 day moving average, guys. <clears throat> So there's that, and then I wanted to get down into the one hour with you. So on the one hour, you can see how these spikes of volume come in. They come in really hard, really fast, and aggressive, guys. And now we're having tons of indecision up here on the one hour. You see all these wicks. You're seeing small candles. So, guys, we're either going to wait and see if this is some type of almost little bull flag. We could pull back into here and then make another move up. Or if this is where we start to roll over a little bit there. Right now, we're at 96 and 96 on the stochastic RSI on the one hour chart, guys. So that's something that I'm also going to keep my eye on very closely is the stock. RSI throughout and work yourself through the time frames go to the four hour and you can see here guys we're at 177 so we're really moving there that's something we're wanting to keep an eye on we have a lot of wick action up here so there's a lot of profit taking then we can take it out to the eight hours you can see like that guys it almost looks like a gravestone doji forming um, the 12 hours that's looking decent there guys but you can see we're still really overextended on the stock at 88 and 86 right there 
and then out to the one day. And there's our one day, guys, what it's looking like. Do you see that? So we had that just slight hesitation there, and then the volume came in, and we made a move to the upside. And that's why we plan for the upside and the downside. My alarms triggered. Those alarms that we put on, and I hope you put them on with me, guys, because that would have told you there that we were moving to the upside once it got triggered. And then you look for that volume and say, okay, we're, we're moving up pretty well here. But I wanted to do this video just to bring it to you and say, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. You know, I, I don't want you FOMOing into anything where you're buying at 135 and all of a sudden you see a pullback to 115, 109, $100, guys. That a lot of times can, can be. Uh, pretty hard on people so just protect yourself be careful that's the main thing be careful pay attention to these indicators and let's see what happens god bless each and every one of you guys like subscribe if you like this channel take care